Hi there, signs of Virgo. This is Kim here to do a next 48 hour reading for you. Hope you're doing really good. Um, what I do is open up for your spirit team, your angels to come through. These messages are delivered in the energy of love. So try to be as encouraging as I can, but I will let you know what the cards actually say and not, um, I won't make up stuff. So let's see. <clears throat> Where are we going to start? You know what? I could have started with those. I could start with tea leaves. Okay. All right. So messages for the sign of Virgo. I saw an announcement and Apple, which is like the temptation. And then the announcement is, well, that could be any, anything really big. Sometimes it's a wedding. Sometimes it's talking about a wedding. Sometimes it's talking about a pregnancy or something like that. <clears throat> Dealings with an older man. Crown. Okay. Honor and respect will come to you. That's not a bad card to get. It's a good card to get. Mm. And then, of course, I would pick the, <laughs> the one I pick would end up being unsettled times need to plan ahead. Unsettled times need to plan ahead. Honor and respect will come to you. Tortoise, slowly but surely getting ahead. That thing is saying that these are unsettled times. Um, and so planning ahead as you go is, is always going to be vital or important to, you know, those... I mean, you're Virgo, though. You know what to do on the at the spur of the moment... <laughs> How do we fix this? You will always um, have like the best solution for uh, on the spur uh, fixing something. <laughs> that probably didn't make much sense. Tortoise, slowly but surely getting ahead and crown, honor and respect will come to you. Kangaroo. A two-faced friend, cat. Two-faced friend, cat. Okay, then I have camel. Persevere and you will overcome your problems. Camel, persevere and you will overcome your problems. Mm. Man, dealings or relationship with a man. Maybe trying to get something together or work something where you can get together with maybe a, f a friend or getting together with friends. There's a two-faced friend. Uh, so I would just be careful to who you tell anything to. <laughs> hmm. So that might be the person. Maybe they're changing. An arrogant, boastful person you should not cross. It could be a year of the rooster person. An Aries. <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. It could be. Um, <laughs> it could be. Butterfly. A change for the better. A change for the better. Butterfly. Well, I like that one. Can you even see that one very well? It's a little dark in here. Hmm. Okay, and then wind chimes, the peace and harmony. And that's good. Tulip, great passion. And maybe that has to do with some kind of um, change. Staff, you'll be taken care of in difficult times. Stuff you'll be taken care of in difficult times. And like I said, I think that the difficult times are probably like now. <laughs> I mean, it's not the easiest. Coffin. Oof. Something ending or going out of your life, the end of a situation, the end of a relationship with someone, the end of a hard time, the end of struggle, 
the beginning of greater faith. Maybe all of those. Oop. Definitely um, either a new beginning or spirit child energy wanting to come through. Marriage in the reverse. Marriage in the reverse. Change. Goodness, really? You can guess what that is. Okay, so when we have in the reverse, there is a strong emphasis on a marriage or commitment or bond. Like, it is the issue, right? It is the main issue if it's turned in. And it might be what is going out of your life. It really might be because you see that coffin representing the end. You see the child representing the new beginning. The marriage is in the reverse. And the change card looks like a like a chariot with um, home supplies in it, like a move, like a move. And it's because you're honoring yourself um, and honestly, just you're probably expecting a lot more for yourself and this is how something more is gonna come in, is what I can imagine. And so you could have been dealing with a false person. You could have been dealing with somebody that you thought was one thing and then just turn out not to be, right? It's possible. Okay. in reverse mm, nine of pentacles <laughs> yeah this is like when you've already done that work where uh you've gone inside or or it, it, the nine of pentacles is here like entrepreneurship independence financial windfall again being able to live comfortably in the success of all of your efforts too um the Hermit in Reverse is, okay, this is about the slow journey, I think. I think this is about the slow journey, it being kind of slow, especially when we're holding on to some sadness from the past. Um, no matter what, endings are endings. Hmm. All right. So this is like independence, self-reliance, and things like that. It's a, it's a really good energy to help in that situation. It was also a nine, so two nines. There's um, some kind of any. You could be meeting somebody on your path, somebody that can help you uh, by relating to your journey. Whew. This could be an unrequited love situation that we're letting go of with the lovers in the reverse. Or just somebody, it, it could have been somebody's bad judgment, poor judgment. There is a new chapter though. Here's here's the new chapter. It's, it's telling you because it's in the reverse that there is something that's wrapping up. And it's supposed to be like that. And then you're being, being told to um, want only the best for yourself. Giving to the things that um, are giving to you back ace of cups and there's your new beginning something loving this could be a loving love begins um it's loving it's loving and it's it's an opportunity and it's a, it's an opportunity that's like a gift from god opportunity and look the nine of pentacles has to come out because it's like look at all these nines nine 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 And the Ace of Cups. This is about, um, so it's not only about your independence, your self-reliance, but it's bringing in new people, places, and things to me that are going to uh, feel like they're elevating or, but really they're not, it's you are the one that's elevating. Like, <laughs> so you might feel like, oh, everything's elevating and it, it probably is whatever change this is be fruitful i would be careful with them um, what you hear or what you tell someone i'll be aware that some people just make up shit so that um 
that could be what that it could be that you never have spoken about certain things that this person maybe has said you have spoken about or that you have done and, and so ah god that scared the shit out of me <sighs> okay and um so an interruption from a false person there you go <laughs> that is a sign somebody is not who they say they are um or not uh say the friend that you think I don't think there's anything you can do but focus on you and your own transformation the chariot in reverse feeling like defending having to defend oneself what fight for an ending why would you have to fight for an ending you might Fighting for an ending. Something to do with travel or um, a car, the momentum. It kind of can't pick up when you're having to look back so much and um, due to defense. Really um, not due to being scared. No, uh, being aware and looking into the past for defending yourself is not a that's not the wrong thing to do and then you have the death card here 13 and it, it's the same thing as it's the same thing as this it's the same thing <laughs> same thing um but let's remind you you also have the butterfly so it's not exactly the same it's it, it's including a change that involves a metamorphosis. Something, say your environment, say it only takes one really cool message to completely change that forever, and it might be something that you really didn't know but are gonna be so happy for. That might be the change. Um, and so the momentum, the move, the distance might be an issue that gets worked through. And it could be that the tortoise, or it just looks like this tortoise is going really slow, but really having to kind of deal with, with stuff um, around them. It's like everybody came around to watch this ending on the card. <clears throat> Strange, huh? Strange. Knight of Pentacles, Knight of Pentacles, slowly, surely getting ahead, but slowly. You have a, a strong Cancer energy here too. So a new opportunity to bring some change here to um to me that hermit in the reverse is like you coming out of um deep introspection time of like stillness and contemplation kind of time to just revive your spirit mind soul body mind spirit body mind body soul You have a good outcome predicted. This is the siren song, by the way. You have a good outcome predicted. You have the woman card pointing. Okay. Is it the woman that is the rooster, the arrogant or boastful person? This is the friend. This is the friend. So whatever this change is, you're going towards a really good A good outcome. I keep getting in, somebody pretending that no one's home, but it, they're just like a tortoise, just kind of like in their shell. <laughs> uh, that's interesting. Here's another card that sometimes represents changes. The moon. And then you got another, <laughs> you got another coffin. Um, 
Okay, maybe there's two significant endings. The moon card here is about getting recognition. It can even be about fame in, in this um, in this deck. It's a combination of the Lenormand and the um, Kipper style decks. So I'm trying to look for the book. Yeah, okay, Siren Song. That's the book. So let me look up the, the moon for them. I think the ending is exactly the same as this coffin. Yeah, it's 1919. So those are both um, Kipper style. But the moon is the Lenormand style. So let me see what it says. Fame, honor, recognition. Hmm. There's a big spotlight being cast on you. It is a card, consequently, of reputation, honor, and fame. There will be recognition for hard work and determination. If you feel like that doesn't resonate with you, then you may feel that whoever this ending is with is with somebody who didn't appreciate you or give you the right amount of attention that you, like, you deserved. Maybe. So tell me more about these uh, endings, so many endings. child and the child wanted to come out earlier too this might be spirit child like i said spirit child or a, a new beginning that's having some kind of resistance to beginning and then there you are the siren looking at this other woman see what i'm saying great fortune good outcome persevere a yeah, uh, great fortune. Great fortune's way different than just like um, extra unexpected money. This is like a, a lot uh, and, and something that will keep you like stable. Siren 1 and si Siren 2. These are usually both you. It depends on where you're being placed. Usually in a spread. So it's a little bit different since I'm clarifying with it. There's the marriage card again. In the reverse oh god and the snake card <sighs> okay <laughs> the mice card this can be any kind of thing right like like this this is the same card 33 marriage in the reverse there's either a commitment or something that's gonna end it feels like times two the snake because you have a lot of two references here, right? The snake is like a sociopath <laughs> because this person would literally talk a lot of um, horrible, foul, nasty things with the direct meaning or intention to actually hurt you. And you were in like a commitment with this person that did not want... Um, good for you at all so that's what maybe is being pulled out of your life for an ending so that not just that something better comes in <clears throat> but so that you don't keep around energies that uh, are, are literally trying to get your vibe down right I have occupation and then I have a mediator Be for well, it may be for contract assessing, reassessing, going back over, um, sorting out the go between the person that handles maybe some kind of legalities, and then the occupation might be part of what is changing. Let's get let's get another ah, card. Mm. Assistance or help often leads to um, jealousy or envy. And that might lead to some kind of jealousy or envy, the marriage card. The mountain. 
mountain to climb and you're in somebody's really, really deep thoughts, they're thinking of like what kind of mountain they have to get over to get to you. <laughs> and then the prison guard comes out and the man feeling uh, trapped, restricted in some way. Hmm, the tree. So, so it is about wanting to grow something or getting somebody to help you grow something. It's something you desire that you have a, a desire to commit to. A long, healthy life or longevity, consistency, and whatever this commitment is, is indicated. So the two-faced person could either be this man or this woman. They're the 28. They're the other than you. Healing with the garden. Healing with them. Nature. Getting out there. Healing with nature. Wealth again on the bottom. Let's pull, um, let's pull some Ask Your Angels or Angel Answers. And... And that's the Lenormand Towers. There's something that can be built with success, longevity, long health, healthy life. Um, unlikely with, with what? Oh, the mountain? No, not the mountain. Don't stop. Unlikely to fail, perhaps. Forgiveness. Compromise, scales, wait. After you say don't stop, don't compromise. <laughs> don't compromise your own self. There can be a peaceful resolution, especially if this is like a legal matter, especially with the mediator energy. It's up to you. Improving health. And opportunity on the bottom. Well, I have wisdom of the oracle too. No place like home. Remember, your home is where your heart is. You're like the turtle. Happy, happy. Chaos and conflict. But there is a peaceful resolution. And then yang. Oh, you have yang and poised. That's nice. Okay, so I think you're poised for some kind of new something coming in. On somebody's thoughts for sure um, and any kind of chaos or conflict simply by not taking somebody so seriously might help you avoid some kind of drama or what somebody says hearing a lie like not not letting it bother you um, poised is about yeah what you're receiving I feel like you're ready to receive this good outcome Okay, I feel like you probably, probably most definitely are, right? So, that's what I've got for you. In the midst of chaos and conflict, they're saying take off the zebra stripes, put on the giraffe stripes. It's uh, important during times of conflict to have a higher, almost like a witness, witnesser, um, observance of what's going on. A third person, omnipotent, um, higher point of view. Seeing the whole big picture. It's like not being able to see the forest because of the trees. Like, don't get hung up on the little things. That it stops you from seeing the whole picture. That happens to me all the time. 
So thanks for joining me. Like and subscribe if you do like it. If you need a private reading, I offer those in the description box is how you can get one. And I'm sending you love and light. Bye-bye.